So, Rally Typhoon. What do you need to convert it? And um, the part numbers and such. Uh, first thing you need are uh, the Senton body mount set. Now, when you order the set, you get the front and rear body mounts, the posts, and you also get the wing delete bracket, which is just a short bracket which hooks around to the back of the tower. Uh, they're about 10 quid. Part number for that is AR320277. Um, central roll cage and hoop. Now you can fit this onto a V4 uh, mount just using the frame and the roll loop. You have to buy those bits separate. Now when you search the part numbers, sometimes you can get them off eBay and it'll, you'll get all the bits together. So the, the actual top frame itself is AR320320 and the roll cage frame is AR320273. Um, the other part is the side guards um, and when you buy those they come complete with the nerf bars and the side guards they are AR320276 and that is really all you need to fit to your Typhoon to be able to run an 8 scale rally car body on it obviously you can see mine got quite a bit of other stuff Scorched RC fenders for the Senton. These have been modified to fit the Typhoon Towers. You can see there where I've had to cut away. Not hard to do. And then just re drill back through where the standoffs go and uh, bolt them on with the standoffs. Same for the back, really. It's a bit hard to see, but I actually shaved the end of the uh, Typhoon tower down just to allow it to clear. So, when we talk about setup, setup for tarmac drift in this, and uh, I thought I'd share what I've done to get it to perform like it does, ride out wise. I forgot to show you with this. It's about 23 24 mil clearance right underneath um, 2000 CST shock oil it's got Typhoon rear springs on the front Italian rear springs on the back the back's quite stiff which is what you want or what I found that's what works well uh, to get it to drift um, front camber a little bit of toe out what I've done, I've fitted. Now that washer is normally in the bottom arm. You have a plastic spacer in the top arm. A lot of people take them both out. So it pushes the cup into the diff. Uh, what I've done is I've fitted the metal washer to the top arm, which neutralizes some of the camber um, and gives you that bit better grip. I think it's about one degree. So rear camber. Show you with that. We're running one degree on the rear, and the front is pretty much parallel, so there's no camber, and that's what putting that washer in there gives you. If you put the washer in the bottom, I think it gives you two degrees again, which is what the, the factory setup is with the uh, spacer in the top. So, yeah. Sent them parts, you can get them as a job lot from Jenny's RC. Um, obviously, in the UK, you get shipping and customs charges on that. Still works out cheaper, I think it costs me about 40 45 quidish to get the roll cage, the side guards, the body mounts, everything else. It comes with a battery tray and various other bits and pieces, which are always coming handy if you're running more than one rig. So, yeah, I was at front bumper, bit of foam. That's actually an axial bumper mount to an outcast bumper bracket. It just helps support the body at the front. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for now. I'm going to give it a full strip down and rebuild. And when I do, I'll go a bit more in, into the setup of it and what I've done to it. So, thanks for watching.